Welcome back, my kindergarten friends. It's me, Mrs. Schoonerman, and we are off for some more writing together today. So yesterday, if you remember, we did something called information, a type of writing called informational writing, where we wrote to tell our reader some information about a topic. And yesterday's topic was all about turtles. So we watched a video clip on turtles and then we drew a picture or a diagram of the different parts of a turtle. We labeled the different parts of a turtle and then we wrote some facts about turtles. Today we're going to move on to a new topic to learn more information about it. And today's special topic is about a little creature that we can find outside. They're mostly known for being red with black spots. You might know them better as ladybugs. Some people call them ladybirds, but they're also called ladybugs. So we'll be talking all about ladybugs today. The, so we're going to watch a video about the different parts of a ladybug and the video will tell us some facts about ladybugs and then we are going to make an informational writing piece about it. Now let's review our learning target for today. I can draw and label a picture of a ladybug and then write two facts about them. Remember, on an informational writing piece, we always want to make sure we include a title. The title, it just tells the reader what, it is all, what the writing piece is all about. Our informational writing also needs to have a diagram or another, a fancy way of saying a picture. And what else do we see? Well, we see that it has labels. And the last thing our informational writing piece will have are facts. Remember what a fact is? A fact is something you can prove. A fact is different than an opinion. An opinion is the way that we think or feel about something. It is personal to us. So our opinions can be different than one another. But today, we are just focusing on the facts, things that we can prove, things that, are, that we know are all to be true about ladybugs. So we will get started by watching our video clip all about ladybugs. Here we go. It's my tree house. You've probably seen this mini beast before. It's one of our best known beetles and is usually red with black spots. Yes, it's a ladybird. I've got quite a few in here. Let's take a closer look. Here's one. How many black spots can you count? One, two. But ladybirds can have up to 20 spots. They may have different numbers of spots, but ladybirds always have six legs. Underneath the shell, they have wings. Ladybirds can fly as well as crawl. Oops, off it goes. Beautiful, aren't they? But that bright red colour also means danger. Don't eat me. I taste horrible. <laughs> now, there's sure to be a ladybird living near you. Shall we go and find one? That was a little bit about ladybugs. But she kept saying ladybugs. Birds. That's because some people call them ladybird beetles. That's another name for them, a ladybird beetle, because a ladybug is actually a type of beetle, and a beetle is a type of insect. And we know that ladybugs are insects because she said something that I remember hearing about last week when we talked about what makes an insect an insect. She talked about the number of legs. The ladybugs, the ladybird beetles, they have six legs. One, two, three on one side, and then three on the other side to make, in total, six. So she would, was talking about how there's different color ladybugs. They're, they have a different amount of spots on their bodies. But the biggest thing are the parts of the ladybugs. 
Ladybugs, since they're insects, they have two antennae, they have the head, they have the thorax, and then this bottom part all down here is the abdomen. And then the part that splits open, you never would even know, but it splits open right here. And that is where the wings come out so that the ladybugs can fly. Pretty neat. All right, if you do not already, please make sure that you go and you get a pencil and get a piece of paper because we are going to start our informational writing piece together. If you don't, just pause the video and start it back up again when you have a pencil and a piece of paper to write on. And let's get writing together. It's time to move on to our title. So our informational writing piece needs to tell our reader what are we writing about today? Well, we're writing about the parts of a ladybug. So let's start with the word parts. You might remember how to spell this. We've been writing this word a lot, but if you don't remember, that's okay. Let's do it together. Parts. P R. That sound R in parts is an A. R, part, parts, there we go, parts, leave a finger space, add our sight word, of, remember, of, it sounds like a V at the end, but it's a sight word, and we know how to spell sight words in a snap, and we know that of has an F, O, F, parts, of, leave a finger space, a, the last word is ladybug, ladybug, L, A, A, D, D, and then there's a Y. So I want you to add a Y, little line slide down, big line slides the other way, lady, and then this is a tap out word, bug, B, uh, g, bug, parts of a ladybug. That's our title. We are done with that part. Next, it's time for the diagram. Remember, a diagram is just a fancy word of saying the picture. So we're going to draw a picture of the different parts of a ladybug. So we just talked about it. The ladybug has a head. The ladybug has two antennae. The ladybug has a small little part right here because it's an insect. Remember, head, thorax, abdomen. So it's the middle part, the thorax. And then down here, add like an oval shape. And then I'm going to add a little split where the wings are going to split open. So here's where the abdomen is down here. So we head, thorax, abdomen. And if I were really going to make this really high quality work, I would color in this whole part red to show that this is a ladybug and that's what this part looks like. That would be high quality work to take my time and color it in. This is something that you can do when the video is all done, is add the extra color. I wouldn't worry about making that part perfect right now, so wait until the end to add your color. I'm also going to add the spots, because ladybugs have spots. Um, we're gonna put seven spots on, I'm, gonna, I'm putting seven spots on my ladybug. Now, if a ladybug or a ladybird beetle is a type of insect, it needs to have a certain amount of legs in order to be an insect. How many legs does an insect have? One, two, three, is that it? No. Four, five, six. Insects have six legs, so ladybugs have six legs. Okay, so we've got our diagram drawn. Now it's time to add some labels. So there were different parts of our ladybug that we heard about. 
we know that they have antennae. So let's go ahead and draw a line from the antennae and label that first. Antennae. And it's different than antenna. An antenna is just one. Antennae is two. And they have two, so it's antennae. And a n and t t t, and then you will add an e n n a e a n t e n n a e antennae. The next part, let's do the middle section, the thorax. TH. Oh. My line got into my X a little bit. Okay, so thorax, T-H-O-R-A-X, thorax. So we have the antennae, we have the thorax. What else? A ladybug has a head, so let's do a head. H -E -E. Then there's an A, head, and it ends in a D. So add a D to the end. Ends with a D. Head, head, thorax, and then all the way down at the bottom, that's its abdomen. Okay, ready? A, ab, b, a B, ab, d. D, oh, there's a B and a D right next to each other. This is the B. This is the D. A, B, D, abdo. Now we have an O. Abdo. Mm -hmm. M. Abdomen. E. N. N. Abdomen. Uh, then they have wings. Ladybugs have wings. So the wings, that's part of that shell back here on their back that, op that splits open. So I'm just going to label right here, wings. Woo, woo. Do you hear the W at the beginning? Woo, woo. Ing. Oh, it has that I-N-G ending. Ing. When we hear ing, we know it's an I-N-G ending wing. And it's not just one wing. Ladybugs have two wings. So we make it plural by adding an S. We show there's more than one wing by adding an S. Okay, the challenges that I'm going to have you label at home. After the video is done, your three more labels, here's what they are. You are going to label the legs. You are going to label the eyes. And you are going to add a label for spots. So one, two, three. Add a label for spots, legs, and eyes. Now it's time to add a fact together. So we will write one fact together, and then you will add the second fact after the video is all done, when you add the last three labels. So remember, it's some different facts and things that we can prove about ladybugs. Ladybugs are an insect. Ladybugs are also called ladybird beetles. That's another fact. Um, ladybugs all have six legs. Ladybugs have different numbers of spots. Ladybugs, um, they can fly. Did I already say that? No, no. 
We have a different number of spots. Uh, oh, and ladybugs can also crawl. So there's a lot of different facts that we can write about. The fact that we will write together is that ladybugs can fly. Because I think that's pretty cool about ladybugs. So let's write that fact together. Now remember when we write a sentence, we always start our sentences with a capital letter. The first letter is always a capital. So we'll start with our capital L because we're spelling ladybug. L lad. And then we have a Y. Lady. Lady. Just like up here. Lady, lady. And it's still the same word, so don't leave a finger space yet. We would have to add ladybug. So we don't leave a finger space. It's ladybug is one word. B. B. A. U. G. G. Ladybug. Now we want to add, make it, it more than one because all ladybugs can fly. So we need to make it into a plural. Ladybugs. Add an S. Now it's time for a finger space. We're starting a new word. Can. We can use our letter sounds to stretch this word out. Can. Now tap it. K -n. Can. Okay, time to write it. K -n. Can. Leave another finger space and we start a new word. And the last word in our sentence is fly. Fly. Ladybugs can f, f fl l fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a y. Fly. And then good writers, they remember to add punctuation to the end of their sentence. So I am going to add a period to finish my thought to say, this sentence is done. This fact is all written. Ladybugs can fly. Now it is your turn. I want you to make sure that after this video is done, don't give up. Keep persevering. It's time to add these three more labels. Add a label for the eyes, the, the legs, and the spots. You use your letter sounds to add those labels. And then I want you to think of one more fact that you have learned about today, or one more fact that you know about ladybugs. And write that down. And then, once your writing is complete, have a family member or a grown-up at home take a picture of your writing and send it into your teacher so that we can see the awesome work that you've been up to. All right, I will see you again tomorrow for some more writing adventures. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.